This is a boring background and as you can see it's messy right now it doesn't have good lighting conditions and it's overall a place where i don't feel inspired anymore so i wanted to give it a fresh look and to give it a makeover and in this video i'm going to show you how i went from having a home office or youtube studio that looks like this to something that looks more like this So hi everyone, I'm Andres Arujo and welcome to a brand new video. My home office and YouTube studio makeover, which is not actually like in other makeovers where they start from scratch. In this case, I didn't replace anything that I already had. The desk is the same, my iMac, my speakers and everything you see is pretty much the same. But what I did is I changed like the mood of my studio by adding some color lights, some decoration and some smart home gadgets because I'm actually getting into this home automation thing and I will tell you about it in a few seconds. But yes, I'm very happy with the new look of my studio and what I like the most about it is that I can set different moods only by changing the color of the lights. For example, right now you're looking this bluish and teal background that I think works well for some of my videos. I use it as well when I'm editing or when I'm doing some motion graphics. Uh, but I can also set it to something more dramatic or with a different intention with the colors just by saying Cine style. Boom! We have a completely different environment or feeling in the video just by adjusting some colors. So this is the first thing I want to show you and recommend if you're looking for some RGB smart lighting. I picked up a pair of smart bulbs from a brand called Tekin. They are very cheap, I think I got two for 20 bucks. One bulb is inside this lampshell that I also got from Amazon. And by the way, all the items that I will show you are listed on the description below if you want to take a look at them. And yes, basically you can change the color of the bulb right from your smartphone. It's pretty easy to set up. You just have to download the app, connect the smart bulb to your Wi-Fi network and it's good to go. But the cool thing about all these smart bulbs and lights comes when you can control them by using your voice. To do so, you will need a smart speaker or assistant like the Google Home Mini, which is the one that I own, or the Amazon Echo Dot with Alexa. Uh, both are very similar, but I went for the Google option because, I don't know, I just like Google. So this way I can tell Google to turn on or off the lights or change the color, the brightness, uh, scheduled some automatic routines like for example every night at 8 p.m. they change their colors to red and blue so I can perceive a different feeling on my office when I'm working or things like that. I've also got a smart LED strip light for the back of my desk from a brand called Lombex uh, but right now I think it's not available anymore on Amazon so I list in the description another one from Govi I think but they were pretty much the same. And I have to say that this light behind my desk is my favorite. This is what for me changed how I feel when I'm sitting here editing or working on something. Having a nice color on the background behind the screen gives me a very nice mood for editing, designing or just sitting here watching content on YouTube. And also for the back of the screen I added these small acoustic panels on the wall that you can see there, creating this kind of cool shape. I don't expect this to improve the acoustic treatment of my studio, I'm not an expert in that and of course having only like 7 small panels will not affect anything, but I think they look good and I like how it merges with the style of the studio. You can get 12 of these panels for like 25 bucks. Now I will show you something that I think it's one of the best things I've ever bought and it's this vertical wireless charger from Utec. I used to have the normal lighting cable to charge my iPhone but I don't know why it always breaks or stops working, uh, it's always a mess so I got this charger which actually came in a pack of two 
Uh, this one, the particle that I use here in my desk when I'm working, and the other one is a pad that I have in my room where I place my phone every night before going to sleep. Highly recommended if you have a phone that supports wireless charging. Its price is around $23, so for me it was a no-brainer. The last thing I added to my desk are these gaming-like headsets. They are not the best on audio quality, I always prefer to work using my Presonus Aries E3.5 speakers, but they do sound good and I occasionally use them for sound design, uh, but most of the time I just use them for gaming in my PS4. These are the Caution Each G2000 and they are about like 25 bucks. I just realized that almost everything is below 25 bucks in this video. I should name it like cool things for your home studio under $25. Or maybe not. <laughs> well, no, the lampshell you see is not $25, it's more like $45, bucks, I think, uh, but it's still a good price. Okay, now let's talk about the items that I have on my lampshell. You see these little yellow light circles that create a cool bokeh if maybe I get closer to the camera? Well, these are a very cheap fairy string lights, uh, they're like 10 bucks and I put them inside a drinking jar mug that I already had in my kitchen. Uh, so basically I like these lights as an accent light for my YouTube videos. For these kind of shots when I'm in focus and everything else behind me is blurry, uh, creating that cool bokeh effect on the lights. Next to them I have this Olympus Pen camera. Uh, this camera was actually from my mother, uh, she used it like maybe 20 years ago and I can't be happier for having this amazing item in my studio. It's such a beautiful camera and of course it's meaningful for me, so thanks to my mom for letting me borrow this piece of art. Of course there is no price for it, it's not under 25, so I'm sorry. She also gave me this little camera shaped lighter that I don't even know how it works, uh, but yeah, it looks great next to its big brother. And basically that's it, that's how I turn my boring office or YouTube studio into something more dynamic, more interesting and more inspiring for me. Uh, and I don't think I spent too much on it, but you tell me. Remember that you can check out all of the items and prices I show you in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe for more content. I have a couple of filmmaking gear review coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. A perfect harmony.